I'm so pleased to join other mommy bloggers this month and think about how we can provide better self-care. Number one, I think about sleep. So the data around sleep is so clear for our child's health and safety and for our own. But we tend to be really crazy and devout about making sure our kids sleep and not for ourselves. We really can improve the quality of sleep that we get seven to eight hours every night by exercising in the morning. That particularly helps our ability to fall asleep at night. And it also, if we do it outside, gets us that good sunlight. Target the morning for that. In addition, as best we can, we should get off our devices about an hour before we really want to sleep. Both because of the light and the effect on our own melatonin, but also the activation that comes from those devices. Two other things to think about, caffeine anytime after noon will affect your sleep. And maybe one glass of wine at dinner is fine, but more than that really will kind of change the pattern and quality of sleep. You still may fall asleep pretty quickly, but the quality of that deep sleep will change. Another thing I think we have to think about is just kind of stress and our work-life balance. It doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home mom or you're a working mom. If you survey both groups, about 50% of stay-at-home moms say that they're really stressed. 48% of working moms say the same thing. I think we have to really like zoom back out and acknowledge that we are trying to do a lot. I love the quote from the book Lean In where Gloria Steinem says that superwoman is the adversary of the women's movement. We need to really kind of tone down our inner critic that voice that talks to us all day about all the things we're doing wrong. And I think really acknowledge that there are bookkeeping errors there, that really we can actually celebrate what we get done. So you don't clean everything, so you don't finish all your emails, so a work project gets deferred. At some point, this precious privilege of raising kids and us getting to sleep and feeling good about our choices every day really matters. What's perfect today for you and your balance of staying home or working may not be perfect next year. Of anything I always counsel families in the clinic, it's really just to know that you can make change whenever you want. And the other things I wanna talk about are exercise and movement. Surgeon General came out this year saying even just 22 minutes of walking a day has a profound change in health. You can double that and get even better effects. And the thing is, we can do it when we're kind of double tasking. So if you're shopping, if you're picking up your kids, if you're getting or shuttling part of your family somewhere else, you're improving those endorphins and happy feelings just by getting that activity. Check that box off even when you're doing something else. This is a great time of year to think carefully about how much your sleep matters, how good you can feel about your individual choice compared to your neighbors or your sister-in-law or your coworker, and really take time to think about this in profound privilege make sure that you're double tasking when you can and you know there are many solutions where less is more. You've got 